Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Boylan and we're back for some more acid base chemistry calculating fun. Uh, let's take a look at problem number 10. Uh, we're asked to determine the pH and pOH of the following strong acid solution. And our strong acid solution is a 1.00 times 10 to the negative two molar hydrochloric acid solution. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out the pH of the solution. And I'm gonna do that because I'm starting with an acid and the acid will have the characteristic hydrogen or hydronium ion as part of the formula. So it's just easier to solve for that first. Now remember, pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen or hydronium ion concentration. You should recognize that we are starting with hydrochloric acid. And when I put hydrochloric acid in water, in water, HCl is gonna donate its proton, and we left with chloride ions and hydronium ions. Now, the important thing to recognize for this problem is that the relationship that exists between HCl and, and the hydronium ion is a one-to-one -one relationship. And because this is a strong acid, we're gonna, we can assume that all of our HCl is gonna completely form this H3O plus. Again, strong acid. And so if I had a 1.00 times 10 to the two, negative two molar HCl solution, because the relationship between those two things in the balanced chemical equation is one to one, and because this is a strong acid, assuming that all of this is gonna completely ionize to form hydronium, the concentration of my hydronium ion is also gonna be 1.00 times 10 to the negative two molar. Now that I know my hydronium ion concentration, I simply plug it into my equation for pH. I just need to take the negative log of that concentration, 1.00 times 10 to the negative two. And although you may be familiar with how to do this in your brain, because the number is a pretty easy number to take the negative common log of, I'm gonna put it in the calculator so you can see how it's done. Negative log, 1.00 second E negative two close parentheses, enter. Now, as you look at this, it gives me a pH of two, but remember your calculator is not gonna use significant figures and we need to apply that new significant figure rule. As I look at my concentration value, I have three total significant figures, which means that I have, I should have three digits after the decimal in my pH value. So the pH value here is 2.000 to the correct number of significant digits. Okay, and the last thing we wanna do here is solve for the pOH. Pretty easy to do once you have the pH. Uh, remember, the relationship between pH and pOH is the following. The sum of those two values will equal 14. And since I know that the pH is 2.000, and I'm looking for the pOH, I simply subtract two from each side, which means that the pOH in this solution is gonna be 12.000. And again, that makes sense. We should expect in an acidic solution, a low pH and a high pOH. Boom, and now we're done.